First up at 5 o'clock, a 20-year-old is dead and another person injured after a crash at the Silver Lake Sand Dunes this weekend. The sheriff's office identifying the victim as Braden Van Putten from Coopersville. News 8's Adriana Doria spoke with the Oceana County Sheriff about this fatality and what he says is a growing issue out at the dunes. Adriana. Brian, Sue, it's the second fatal accident at the Silver Lake Sand Dunes, killing one 20-year-old and injuring another. And this accident raising many questions about the safety at the dunes and how accidents like these can be prevented. It's extremely unfortunate. He's a 20-year-old young man who had his entire life in front of him and uh, that has been taken away from him and his family. Another life lost at the Silver Lake Sand Dunes. Oceana County Sheriff Craig Mass says deputies were called out to the dunes just before 545 on Sunday for an accident. Sheriff Mass says the driver of the quad crashed into a side-by-side -side and deputies attempted to save the driver, but he died at the scene. Mass says speed was a factor in this crash. Images shared with News 8 show a dark quad runner, part of the front section, buried in the sand, surrounded by DNR trucks. The dunes are a unique atmosphere, but it does have some, it does have some very real risk with it. This fatality comes just months after 33-year-old Katie Price was killed on the dunes after she was hit by a Jeep while watching drag racing. The incident came over Memorial Weekend. These crashes prompting calls for changes and for safety upgrades. There's a couple of I'll, a, a couple of immediate answers. I won't call them easy answers because they would not be easily to to implement, but if, if a speed limit was implemented and if a capacity was drawn on the dunes. Just days ago, the dunes began putting up signs urging visitors to drive at safe speeds. Sheriff's Mass says the DNR officials are having these tough conversations about what it takes to make the dunes safer. But as for what's next for the dunes safety measures, well, that question still remains. Live in the studio, Adriana Doria, News 8.